I think government agencies are in a difficult spot. They've got an aggressive attacker they have to deal with coming from multiple sources and with multiple reasons. Uh, and they have a massive landscape to protect. So one of the areas that they have to find an equilibrium is how do I deliver this security posture? How do I improve my security posture and deliver it in a fiscal, you know, viable way? Uh, if money were no object, it'd be a lot easier to harden all of our world. So I think they have to make those difficult decisions between what is viable for our mission and what can we actually fit inside our budget constraints. Um, unfortunately, that often is where the divergence occurs between you know, strong security and, and issues. The advice I give them is the same thing I give uh, you know, the rest of the landscape, which is to focus on where you truly have to protect yourself. You know, what do we worry about our attackers getting hold of, uh, manipulating, you know, how can they ruin us, how, how can they get rich off us, how, how can they bring us down, as it were, and make sure your security emanates from that process out. Early on in, in the development of security, the world was built in a layered onion approach, and we tried to get as strong as we could at the core, and we layered on security over and over and over that. And that just became you know, daunting as we've gotten this explosion in devices and, and uh, digital real estate. So they need to make sure that their investments align with what truly needs to be protected because you can't, just like in any you know, defensive effort, you can't defend everything equally. You have to pick and choose those areas that you can afford to really double down on. And they need to have those very clear in their minds. I think we've gotten a lot safer over the years. I think we've improved in a lot of areas over the years. There are still some gaping, you know, uh, issues that need to be dealt with. So I don't think we'll ever be, you know, 100% safe, but I do feel like we're marching down that path. I feel like the software makers themselves are getting better, the defensive forces are getting better, um, and we're pushing the attacker deeper in the stack now. And as we push the attacker deeper in the stack, if we can respond to that move, we'll continue to make it more challenging and, and, and challenging for them. It is an ongoing game, though. There's no silver bullet. We won't wake up one day and this problem's over. But I do think we can come a long way from where we were, you know, a couple years ago to where we'll be, you know, as we enter in, you know, 2015, say. So.